Hello folks, John Breslin, the project coordinator with Lely Centre Mullingar. So just out here on a job that was started up in the last couple of months, give you a quick look round of how these robots are retrofitted into our existing beef unit. So here we have our two milk buckets and our central unit. Clean access to the robot room. And at the moment you can see one cow being milked there in the Lely Astronaut A5 milking robot. So in this farm, there's two robots in a checkout style. You have one cow there being milked, or a cow being milked. Another lady waiting. So on this farm here, the robots were fitted on the pasture of the shed. So as you can see here, when we go into this next robot room, this shed was an existing beef unit. So. This is where the cattle would have been fed beforehand. This is the pastureway and where the cattle would have been fed on the other side. So what was done in this farm was the robots were actually placed on the pastureway of the shed in a checkout style. And when the cows enter the robot, they're coming in on the slathead area, entering the robot from the back, being milked and then they exit the robot back out onto a slathead pasture and out to the grazeway. So the advantage of this layout here is that the cows, when they're entering and exiting the robot, they're always on a slathead tank, which leaves it that bit easier to keep it clean and less clean for the farmer as well. So as you can see here, there's been a very minimal build carried out to get this farmer up and running and milking. There's also lots of space left for further expansion. So what was done here was the two robot rooms were built. The two robot rooms are fitted, all in the existing shed. There was a small extension built on to the outside of the shed, three and a half meters by five and a half meters, where the central unit and milk buckets are placed. And then the milk is pumped across the yard as you can see from this trench, into the dairy, which is a small lean-to that was built onto an existing shed.